Hi there, movie lovers, and as every Monday here on Film Is Now, today we are diving deep into the lives of your favourite stars in the cinema industry. They may have been walking red carpets for many years, or they may be new celebs on the rise. In any case, we are here to analyse everything that led them to their success, including details from their behind the scenes lives and all their future projects. If you want to keep up to date with all the latest news we post every day here on Film Is Now, from the hottest new trailers to panels, reviews, mashups, and editorials, make sure to subscribe and to tap the notification bell to be updated on all your devices. Today we will be speaking about an actor whose looks have always been the focus of the media, with companies even taking advantage of his personal life in favour of their advertisements. But this person's career and personal goals are for much more than what meets the eye. The actor we are speaking about today has such an extensive portfolio that he has ended up caught in all sorts of adventures. From suing Playgirl for his naked photos to being banned from entering China, he has seen and done it all. We are speaking, of course, of Brad Pitt. It is a well-known story in Hollywood. A young, poor, unknown talent is spotted by someone and transformed overnight into a superstar. But Brad Pitt's early life was exactly this, and he is one of the best-known figures when it comes to the real-life struggle from rags to riches. As a matter of fact, he hails all the way from the tiny town of Shawnee, Oklahoma, where his father owned a trucking company and his mother worked at the local school. The conservative family later moved to Missouri, where Pitt began showing his acting talent by taking part in the school musicals. He was a very resolute child who would never give up on his goals, even founded his own basketball team when he wasn't picked for the school one. His crew was called the Cherokee Rejects, with his father standing for the coach. But regardless of his bigger dreams, which focused on acting and on making a career in the film industry, his life was still stuck in the old town, where he eventually settled upon studying journalism at university. But his love for cinema was just too strong, and it wasn't long before he had dropped out of university and was running off to California, the land of opportunities. He said that films represented for him a portal into different worlds, and he was desperate to do anything to be a part of that industry. But his new life in Los Angeles was tough, and while he slept on other people's couches, he had to carry out all sorts of odd jobs. He worked for a company that produced refrigerators, he was a pool boy, he drove strippers around in limos, and he even used to dress up as a giant chicken to promote the chain of restaurants El Polo Loco. To increase his chances of becoming a Hollywood star, he even took acting lessons by Roy London, who was such a requested teacher that he taught well over 250 students per week. But the acting jobs were very few, with rare roles in daytime soap operas, occasional appearances in series like Dallas and Growing Pains, and as many other actors in their first jobs, he ended up acting in commercials, including a famous one for Pringles Crisps. But in 1991, he was given a small role in Thelma and Louise, and this high-profile movie started to getting things moving. As a matter of fact, not long after, 1994 became the year for Pitt, who was luckily cast in Interview with the Vampire alongside all of Hollywood's big names, Tom Cruise, Antonio Banderas, Kirsten Dunst, Christian Slater, marking his long-awaited big entry into the film industry. During these years, he dated various co-stars, including Juliette Lewis, Jill Sholin, and Robin Givens, all who raised the attention of the tabloids, who started cashing in on photos of Pitt's attractive looks, which quickly stirred the curiosity of audiences all around the world. But physical appearance wasn't everything, as by the end of the 90s, he was already starring alongside Kevin Spacey and Morgan Freeman in award-winning thrillers like Seven, which has since been considered one of the best films of all time. He actually enjoyed this role of a flawed detective because it allowed him to prove himself to the wider audience as more than just a pretty face. He was actually so determined to show his skills that when he accidentally broke his arm on set, he ploughed through it, with his cast arm being added into the script. This dedication to acting worked his magic, as the same year he starred in 12 Monkeys alongside Bruce Willis. His eccentric role won him a Golden Globe and he was even nominated for an Oscar. The accolades were well deserved as his method acting had led him to actually be enclosed in a psychiatric ward to better depict his character, who is also hospitalised for mental issues. During this time he entered a well-publicised relationship with Gwyneth Paltrow, but as soon as the two broke up, Hollywood agents were jumping up and down on their desks and quickly set our act up on a blind date with friend star Jennifer Aniston. The two eventually married in an ultra-secret wedding in Malibu, and Pitt was so involved in his relationship with his partner that he founded with her the production company Plan B Entertainment, he designed their wedding ring by himself, and he even began learning Greek, in order to honour Aniston's origins. But his intense private life never got in the way of filmmaking, as he was crushing one role after the other, and he was soon training in rock climbing and trekking for his demanding role in Seven Years in Tibet. Despite the film receiving mixed reviews, the Chinese government did not take lightly the topics depicted, as they claimed the military was shown as too brutal, arrogant, and rude. For this reason, Brad Pitt and other crew members were banned from ever entering China. Pitt was only able to visit the country many, many years later after the ban had been lifted. 
While Pitt was in the spotlight, shown big smiles and with a successful career laid out in front of him, his personal life and mental health were getting really grim. He later admitted that during the 90s he had become sick of the world of media and he had been trying to hide from it, ending up spending most of his time on his couch, taking drugs and eating unhealthily. After he realised that he could and had to do better, he decided to turn his life around and get back into acting. As a matter of fact, his life motto later became that complete happiness is impossible to achieve and the darker moments fuel us into doing better. Then 1999 came around, the turn of the millennium, and it was a big year for film, with The Matrix on the one side, American Beauty on the other, The Sixth Sense, the new Star Wars movie, Notting Hill, Toy Story 2, Girl Interrupted, Tarzan, Johnny Depp did Sleepy Hollow, Tom Hanks was in The Green Mile, Kubrick's last film ever was released. The competition was pushing in from all sides. For that year, Brad Pitt gave one of his most famous performances ever in the memorable cult film Fight Club. Fight Club is the movie adaptation of the novel of the same name by Chuck Palahniuk, and which explores topics such as depression, sexuality, death, the morals, choices, love. Since its release, it has been quoted thousands of times, referenced in dozens of other films, and has become a symbol of humanity's depression and the consumer approach we have when trying to cope with our reality. At this point, Brad Pitt was so involved in method acting that he even had pieces of his perfect front teeth removed in order to better suit his chaotic and rebellious character. This only pushed him further up the ladder of success, and he shortly after was cast in Ocean's Eleven, in one of the biggest stellar casts ever, with Julia Roberts, Matt Damon, George Clooney, Andy Garcia. And over the next few years, while he was filming the sequels to Ocean's Eleven and other films such as Troy, he kept on pushing himself to do even better on the big screen. But in his personal life, his relationship with Jennifer Aniston had started to crumble, eventually reaching the point of the two splitting up. But the ink on the divorce papers had barely dried by the time he had been spotted in romantic photos with fellow actress Angelina Jolie, the biggest love interest of his life, and with whom he had fallen in love on the set of action blockbuster Mr. and Mrs. Smith, in which they played a married couple, but who leads a secret spy life. The two soon were dating, and the paparazzi were in such a frenzy that they quickly created the nickname Brangelina. Although the couple were madly in love, they refused to marry until same-sex marriages were legalised. The paparazzi madness and the public hysteria had by then reached unimaginable levels, so when Angelina became pregnant with her daughter Shiloh, the couple decided to fly to Namibia in order to seek some privacy and give birth in serenity. Their privacy was very well needed and justified, as the Brangelina fever had reached manic levels, and the birth event was described by some in the media as the the most anticipated baby since Jesus Christ. At this point, Pitt was even dealing with serious issues with stalkers, including one who broke into his home, wore his clothes, and slept for many hours in his bed, before accidentally setting off an alarm. Shiloh was the couple's first child, but Angelina Jolie had previously adopted children from different parts of the world, such as Cambodia, Vietnam, and Ethiopia, and as her relationship with Pitt progressed, he also became the adoptive father of these children, uniting them all in a large multi-ethnic family. Helping people in need has actually always been a huge part of Pitt and Jolie's life, with their concerns focusing primarily on children and on rural villages in developing countries, topic tied to their own personal life, with their adopted children coming from impoverished communities. The couple donated $1 million to rural regions in Chad and Sudan, and they supported the One Campaign that aims at combating AIDS and poverty in the developing world, with Angelina visiting dozens of refugee camps and war zones, and even learning how to fly airplanes to transport supplies, the couple's resolutions became even more serious. After donated millions upon millions to different charities around the globe, all the couple's efforts eventually came together in the creation of the Jolie Pitt Foundation, in order to aid humanitarian crises all over the world. While his charities helped people in need, Pitt's Hollywood career didn't even do so much as glitch, as he persevered by starring in Ocean's 13, the third chapter in the award-winning Ocean saga, then by portraying a man who is born old and progressively becomes younger in The Curious Case of Benjamin Button, and then teaming up with Quentin Tarantino in his Nazi hunting story Inglorious Bastards. Bastards. During this time, he was nominated twice as Sexiest Man Alive, and this had such an impact on the media that commercials starring him, such as the one for Toyota Cars, have been banned in some countries, such as Malaysia, to avoid the local men feeling inferior to him and developing confidence issues. But regardless of the adoring attitude of the media, Pitt has always had a very rocky relationship with paparazzi, trying to avoid them at all costs, and even suing Playgirl magazine for trying to publish a snapped private photo of him naked. Pitt and Jolie have also always tried to avoid transforming their children 
children into money making machines and any money they did make from photo suits such as the millions for the photos of their newborn twins in 2008 has been given to charities. The couple has also always tried to protect their children from becoming victims of the paparazzi mentality by blocking their names on their home devices so that the children can never google information about their parents and form an opinion based on what the gossip has speculated. But even with all these personal projects, the big screen productions didn't stop and Pitt continued along his path starring in one hit after the other. World War Z, which became the highest grossing zombie film of all time, then 12 Years a Slave, which was such a huge hit and critical success that won around 100 film awards. He then starred in Allied, a war-themed espionage movie, which tied well with his following film, which was War Machine. Around this time, Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie suddenly announced they were breaking up, something which nobody was expecting and which obviously created a lot of frenzy in the media community. This breakup was so widely publicised that some airline companies even started creating advertisements offering cheap flights to LA, basing the advertisement on the fact that Brad was single. Regardless of all the media mogul's attitude, the couple separated on healthy terms. As of 2019, Brad Pitt's career hasn't slowed down in the slightest manner, and he is now starring in the most highly anticipated film of the year, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, a Quentin Tarantino masterpiece set in a 60s Hollywood on the background of the hippie era and the Manson murders. Once Upon a Time in Hollywood isn't even his sole upcoming role, as he is also starring in Ad Astra, a science fiction film in which he portrays an astronaut on a space search for his missing father. But beyond that, we have no information on his future projects, but looking at his career, we can only expect the best from him. But we are curious to know what is your favourite film with Brad Pitt? Let us know with a comment down below. And if you like this video and want to keep up with all the content we post every day here on Film Is Now, remember to subscribe and to click the notification bell to be updated on all your devices. You don't want to be the last one hearing about the most recent news in the world of cinemas. And if you want to show everybody your passion for movies, remember to get yourself one of the t-shirts you can find in the description box right below this video.